This short video will help you prepare a three octave chromatic scale in C. This is a requirement for the 2015 Colorado Allstate Orchestra auditions. Because a chromatic scale is made up entirely of half steps, and because it doesn't even use the pinky, the fourth finger, you may think to yourself that this is an easy project and you might be tempted to leave it until the very last minute. Do not do that. A chromatic scale is actually quite tricky. Because they are all similar in intervals, it's easy to be lost and lose track of where one octave ends and another octave begins. Let us explore each octave separately. I will play without vibrato, or maybe just a little bit vibrato, so that the open strings are not so different sounding than the fingered notes. I am using the fingering furnished by Colorado Allstate Orchestra. that I ended up with my second finger on this C, on the G string second position, an octave higher than the open C. It's good to remember this second finger C on the G string. We will continue to the next octave and let's see where we end up. was in half position on the A string with my third finger on C. We play the last octave. When you reach the top C, it's good to check against the open C to make sure you're in tune. Going down is simply the reversing of all the things we've already done. Once again, try to remember which C you're headed to. I am headed to the third finger half position C on the A string. Remember, the next C down is the second finger C on the G string, which is second position. We simply continue to the open C. If you refer to the music that you can print from the Colorado Allstate Orchestra website, they ask you to bow this four notes per bow. I will demonstrate that going up all three octaves and coming back down.
I wish you luck and don't forget to practice every day.